Hey Glam Fam, Linwood here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to restore a wavy wig, or at least what once was a wavy wig. So this one is uh, one of my wife Allison's old wigs, and um, she actually rather loves this wig, but uh, I've fallen out of in love with it. <laughs> out of love with it because it's a hot mess now. So in the nape, of course, it's like all matted. I don't know how much of that you guys can see. Hopefully you guys can kind of pick up, but like there's there's no pulling fingers through that. It's a hot mess. Uh, on the top, it's gotten rather frizzy and this started out as a really nice wavy wig. Now I will say like because she enjoys this wig so much, I am going to restore it for her. So you guys can see that this is a lace front wig. Uh, the reason why I show you guys these videos is not to try to sell you whatever wig it is that I am uh, working on, but it's rather to show you guys how to restore your wig so you can save some money. So I do have a mannequin head here and you can purchase them with no hair already for use for stuff like this. This one, because I used to work at a cosmetology school, I got it thankfully uh, from there. After our kids finish cutting them down, they end up bald headed. Okay, so we're going to make sure the lace is laying nice and flat. So the first thing I like to do is go ahead and uh, detangle the wig. So I'm going to start off by pinning it and securing it around the front. And I'm also going to secure it in the back of the wig with the T-pin. Now of course I do that because for some reason they just won't let me stab live people. I don't know why. It's still against the law. Everyone has issues. For those of you who are wondering, yes, I am working on a video for this with curly hair as well. Uh, but getting my hands on a curly wig like that can be difficult because all of Allison's curly wigs are human. So I'm going to start off in this nape area and I'm just going to kind of loosely separate this out because a lot of it is kind of matted up. So we're going to start off back in here. I'm going to go ahead and start from the ends and we're just going to brush this hair out. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is because I want to remove any tangling and things from this hair before I do anything else, just because I honestly want to make my job a little bit easier when it comes down to this. So I'm going to go ahead and brush through this wig like so. And I'll fast forward through this because y'all aren't trying to watch this. But I will say, brush starting at the ends. See how it instantly begins to detangle? Brush starting at the ends and work your way up to the, the wefts of the wig. If you're trying to just go right in there from the top, you're going to end up with a mess on your hand. And that unit is going to do a ton of shedding. Alright you guys, so now I've got this wig completely brushed out to where I can easily drag that brush through there. And you guys can kind of see, like you can already see the fall of this wig and why Allison loved it so much. Um, it's a really, really nice wig. But the ends, because I've only brushed it out, are gonna be really prone to tangling still. And I want to ensure that this wig is like new. So we're gonna go ahead and start off now by cleansing the wig. And then from there, we'll get into how to restore the wig. So let's jump on over to the sink. All right, so we're over here at the sink, which I've already taken the liberty of putting some water in, just so you guys can kind of see. Um, I'm gonna be using some of the Sebastian Drench Shampoo. Um, you can really use pretty much any cleanser. It doesn't have to be specifically this one. And I'm just gonna swish that around a bit. You guys can see that alone is gonna make the water a little cloudy, but I want you guys to be able to see the difference between this wig or this water with just the shampoo in it and once we've cleansed it. So I'm gonna go ahead and take out these T-pins. Now, the reason why this is important is because a lot of times wigs can be stiff because of product buildup, because of sweat, because of makeup, things like that that are being used to blend them in with the natural skin tone. So uh, it's very important that you just kind of start off anytime you're restoring a wig with cleansing it. So I'm going to take that and just submerge it into the water. And we're just going to press it out just like so. I'm not going to do like a ton of scrubbing and things, but I do want to do a bit of like a light rubbing around the hairline especially. And I'll probably even go in there with just a little bit of shampoo right along the hairline. You guys can kind of see there, some of that wave pattern is still there present in the wig. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go through a process of dunking. We're gonna get this wig nice and clean. 
And I wanna make sure, because the edge of the lace can be a little rough, I wanna make sure that I'm not doing a ton to get hair caught in the lace and create more work for myself in the long run. So I'm gonna take a small amount of shampoo and we're just gonna work that between those hands and I'm gonna take it right along the hairline of the wig and I'm honestly just gonna take it and act like I'm washing my hands with just that wig in between. Just so that way I can make sure it's clean right along the lace where it's gonna to touch her skin, things like that. Uh, because I want to ensure that we're not doing anything to lead to any breakouts and any infections on her skin or her face through bacteria being on there, anything like that. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and rinse that off right in there. Okay, so there's still a bit of soap in there, no big deal. But I want you guys to see the difference in that water. Can you see that? Look at all that makeup, product residue, things like that that just came out of that wig. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead I'm gonna drain that and I'm gonna fill it back All up. All right, so I've got the water refilled. I have the wig over here and I did do a bit of dunking in there just to get the excess uh, shampoo out of there once I did that. And you guys can see, I can still kind of pull through there, but it's still got a little few spots where it's somewhat rough and knotted. So I wanna make sure that I'm doing as much as I can to try to soften up this wig before we even get into restoration. So uh, I've never actually used the fabric softener, but so many of my subscribers swear by it and they were like, you need to do it. I'm gonna choke you out. So I'm gonna go ahead and put about half a cap full of that into the water. We're gonna give that a good swish swish. And then from there, I'm just gonna take this unit and place it on in here and dunk. Now the reason why a lot of people claim that uh, this works out really well is because they are saying that it softens the hair because it is a fiber similar to how like polyester is a synthetic fiber. The, the wigs are synthetic fibers and so they react in the same manner. The uh, fabrics and things like that would. So I don't know how true that is. I'll let you know after this video. Well, usually I put a bit more work in in order to soften up wigs. So yeah. But I'm just going to go ahead and allow that to work on here. And we're going to let that soak just for a couple minutes. And then I'll take it out and we'll move forward. All right, so I went ahead and took it up out of the water. I'm going to go ahead and just take a towel and lightly blot just to get any excess moisture out. So we're not getting water all over the house because Allison will kill me. And from there, I'm going to toss this back on the wig head. Um, I will say so far it doesn't feel any softer but it smells delectable. So, if for nothing else but the fragrance of the wig smelling nice and fresh, then you know, hey, go for it with the fabric softener. All right, you guys, so I've got it back on the wig head and I've got the Denman brush back out. I'm just gonna go ahead and brush through this hair one last time before we do our final bit of work on this. And you guys can see the brush is going through there rather easily. The ends feel a bit like, you know, icky still, so. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how we get a nice fresh wave on this hair. Which you guys can see, it's still, it has a pretty nice wave on it now. But we still wanna give it a bit more detail. Now this is not a full lace wig, this is a lace frontal. So um, you have to be careful about your placement and things of it when we're going through this. So basically, I'll show you guys a bit more of what I mean with that in just a moment. All right, you guys see how this lace is here. And the lace goes back to about right there until you start having tracks. And I want to make sure this hair continues to flow back over that when I'm finished. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to part off there. And I'm going to go ahead and flow backwards. I'm going to pin this excess hair out of the way. And from there what I'm going to do is actually just braid up this section of hair. So just like you would for you know, standard cornrows, things like that. We're gonna go ahead and braid it up. This wig already has a part line in place in there. Of course, it can be moved around, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and flow with that. Plus, I know Allison parts on this side, so I'm gonna go ahead and just start off here, and we're gonna begin to cornrow this wig. This is why it was so important to brush the hair out, to make sure it's properly clean, all of that prior to doing any of this because if it wasn't brushed out I would not be able to cornrow it without this hair knotting, matting, and tangling on me. So notice by me doing so I'm trying to stay pretty close to the hairline here just so there's not a ton of straight hair 
prior to uh, getting into the wave pattern. So I'm just gonna continue this process. A couple spots where it's somewhat knotted, so I'm just gonna take my comb. See that? That's what we wanna get out, because keep in mind, we're trying to restore this wig, so I don't want any knots, no tangles, none of that in the wig when I'm done. And we're just gonna continue this all the way down to the ends of the hair. So from there, I'm gonna go ahead and just rubber band it off. And then on the opposite side, I'm gonna braid down. And what I'll do on these middle portions, I wanna pull this hair back in braids, so that way this hair continues to come back and cover the tracks that are just behind it. So I'm gonna actually pull it back a little bit and I'll start the braids behind the tracks rather than in front of them. That way this hair still wants to lay smooth and we'll go ahead and cover that track that's there. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and braid down the rest of this. And then All right, you guys, so I've got this wig braided up like so. And you guys can see it's got like the braids all around there. It's only got three braids to that back section because the wigs are never as thick in there as they are around the front. And I'm gonna go ahead and come on over here to my kitchen. Okay, so I've got a bowl in the sink here. And if you guys have watched some of my other restoration videos and you know what that bowl is for. But I'm gonna go ahead and pull the pins out so that way I can go ahead and get this taken care of. Back here on the stove behind me I have my teapot and it is heating up. Um, yes, I have a teapot because I'm from the south. We drink sweet tea here. All you northerners, don't judge me. Sweet tea is a bomb. So, I'm gonna go ahead and take this wig and we're just gonna toss it right here in the bowl, making sure the ends of those braids all get in there. So this is what it looks like. All right, you guys, so the water is ready here. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab it. And we're just gonna bring it on over here. And so we're just gonna take that and pour it right on in here with this wig. No, the hot water is not gonna damage it or the lace. Pour it up in there. See that little lip there where it's still sticking out? Okay, so because of that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and get a dinner knife. Look at all these baby spoons. Like really, we have two kids. Come on now. Anyway, so um, I'm gonna go ahead and take this baby and I'm just gonna use this knife to push in all of the edges. I wanna make sure everything gets fully submerged in the water. It doesn't have to be in there for a long amount of time, just long enough to get it hot. Once I've done that, I'm gonna go ahead and begin to fill this baby up with cold water. And I'm just gonna skip forward on this. All right, so now I've got it full of cold water. As you guys can see, it's not hot anymore. My hand can go in there. Don't do this with boiling hot water. You will burn yourself and die, okay? Don't say I didn't warn you. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and pull that baby right on out. Let's just toss it over here for Okay, now. so from here, if I wanted to, I could go ahead and just let the wig air dry or I could wrap it in a towel and let it dry overnight, but I literally ain't got no time for that. So what I'm gonna do is I've got this wig here. I'm gonna pop it on the mannequin stand. As you guys can see, I've moved the mannequin stand. And we're just gonna go ahead, I'm gonna bring these braids up and around and I'm gonna pin them up. And you guys see that over there? It looks like a little kitchen cooker. It's actually a hooded dryer. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it under there. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that, place it, pin it, just like that. And we're just gonna do that with all the ends of the braids. And then from there, I'm gonna go ahead and bring this dryer right on up, pop it on over, and I'm gonna let this wig dry um, for about, I'd say, maybe an hour to an hour and a half. All right, Glam Pam, so once you're taking it out of the dryer, this one is still, she's slightly damp, but that's okay, I'm not worried about that. So I'm gonna tilt you guys down so you can see. Um, once you take it out of the dryer, you're gonna go ahead and remove these pins. Of course, like I said, you can let it air dry overnight. All right, let's go ahead and slide out these rubber bands. Of course, if you have a need, because like it's a more of a, a different fiber or something like that, you can spray it with like a little bit of an oil sheen or something like that. I just really don't feel like that's necessary for this unit. All right, so from there, I'm just gonna go ahead and unbraid this baby all the way down. And this is just gonna give it a nice wave, just like you would get for a braid out because that's literally all we did. I mean, check out that wave pattern, you guys. Like. Look at that. 
ends are feeling nice and smooth. No more tangling, no more knotting there. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'll take the rest of this down and then I'll let you guys have a look at the finished result. All right, you guys, so this wig has gone from who did it and why to Janet Jackson coming up out the water. So um, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and have Allison try this on once she gets home, she's at work right now. And then that way you guys can have a look at the final look of it, but check out those waves all the way down. No nodding in the back. Looking fresh, looking brand new. So I'm telling you guys now, there's no need to go and spend a ton of money on a brand new wig when you can just restore it. It's gonna be a little bit of little bit of work, but trust me, it'll save you a good degree of money in the long run because honestly, a synthetic lace front can cost you upwards of 50 to $70, depending on where you're buying it from. So that's 50 to $70 that you could have in your pocket. As someone was telling me about this wig, about all the things that he did to this wig, I was just kind of like, oh, well, this was one of the ones that I had bought off of FridayNightHair.com. It was one of the first sites that I was buying synthetic wigs from. And uh, their, their synthetic wigs are really, really soft. Um, the only thing about them is that the plastic was a little bit too hard. Kind of like um, if you um, moved your wigs around a little bit like that, you know, you could possibly cut yourself because it was... The plastic was just really really hard so I had to learn to lift the wigs up if I had to move them or adjust them or whatsoever but I think that um, Lemma did a great job with restoring this wig um, with this process I you would just be really surprised on how you could save your wigs and restore them this wig is actually four years old four years old four years old so um, he was started very well um, I really didn't even mess with it because when I got it, it was already kind of kinky, curly, kind of wavy, kind of already pretty wild. And so once I started messing it, messing it up, I just thought, well, I'll worry about that another time. That's going to take a lot of effort for me to do that. And so with him restoring it like this, it's almost like anything's possible with these wigs. And, um, of course, like I said before, this is a synthetic wig. Um, and so, um there was no hair there wasn't like a lot of hair loss or anything like that so you guys just let me know what you think um this is like the short version of moana i might go it's moana this year <laughs> i never dress up <laughs> all right so you guys let me know what you think okay don't forget to click the link below and subscribe Thank you. Thanks, Glam Fan.